Now another thing you can do if you want to do the shuttle, you can park at the St. Mary uh, Visitor Center and then just take the shuttle right on up. But the thing is that it is very limited there. So you want to get there early because there's people have probably been there since seven, six something, probably six or seven o'clock just to get here to get a parking spot so they can get on the shuttle and go up to Logan Pass or whatever, wherever they got to go to. So you can park at the visitor center. It's just that it's very limited parking. I'm not going to kick you out for, you know, for like 10, 15 minutes or whatever. You can park her at the, uh, the St. Mary Visitor Center and then take the shuttle right on in. Just be careful that um, there's very limited park. It's, li it's limited parking in the whole um, in, the, in the whole national park. It is. It's very limited. So you, you got to play your game how you want to do it when you're when you're taking the shuttle and going from there. Now, if you're trying to get parking in Logan Pass, I've heard people say that it, it was packed at 7 a.m. in the morning. And, I, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. And, and I'm like, wait a minute, doesn't it open at 6 a.m.? But some people said they, they went into the parking and, and on the east entrance right on in. Now, on the west, it could be something different. They could, be, they could close that all the way down because there's construction happening over there the most. But on the east entrance, somebody said they were here like 5.15 in the morning and they just went right on in. It was nobody there stopping them at all. There was no barricades or nothing. And that may be different for, you know, for somebody else, but that person said, hey, I just went right on in. And they got a, the front row parking at Logan Pass. And I was like, what? <laughs> so, like I said, if you get up early, you may check your, ch your take your chances on the east entrance. Now the west entrance, like I said, may be a little different. So that's giving you just a little heads up and tips as you do come to Glacier National Park. <music> Okay, so I'm, I took the free ride up here. It was really chill, guys. I mean, the, the transfer was very easy because the guy from the west, he's actually going towards the loop. I think he's probably going all the way down. Um, I was going to stay on that one, but I really wanted to buy something at um, at Logan Pass Visitor Center. But... Um, my leg's still killing me, but hey, got some free views. Um, got the window seat I needed for the extra shots. 
So like the shuttle bus right now is just real chill right now because everyone's up here. <laughs> They're already on their hikes. They're already going crazy. So that's why the, the shuttle buses right now are just pretty empty right now. But, but, but when, we're going, when we're going back around two or three o'clock, that's when it starts to get busy. can do it, the other ones can do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. That was Logan Pass. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Okay, so we're coming all the way down to the shuttle bus. They got the big ones. <laughs> oh, Lord. And that is going to Apgar. Now this dude, uh, this big shuttle is keep going to keep going down to Apgar, but I'm not going to go down to Apgar because I've been down to Apgar and that road down there is horrible. Thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got it. So we're so you're gonna go back up to the Logan Pass one? No, uh, uh, I, well, I go to Avalanche and uh -huh. transfer, so he can go up. Yeah. Okay. Well, not yeah. You go to Avalanche, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you transfer. Okay. Um. So there's gonna be another one coming around. Like he's probably gonna come back around, right? Uh, headed in the other direction. Yeah, he's gonna co eventually come yeah, back we to got this. Like five buses running right okay. now. Okay. All right, guys, it's getting towards the end of the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, well, I just want to take a look around here because I'm like, oh, they yeah, got everything wrong. there. All right. Thank you so much. So you gotta be mindful of the shuttles. If you're going to take the shuttles, you gotta be mindful of the shuttles. Or you drive a certain certain part and just take the shuttle and then go from there. But if you are doing like, you know, you're driving in to go into the sun road and then you're doing the shuttle thing, just let you know those those actual areas where the shuttles kind of pick you up, they get very jam-packed. Um, so those spaces fill up quick. It's a very popular trail and you have to be you really need to be back from your trail at least because it's like right over there right over there you need to be back from your trails of any trails out here you need to be back to about like 3 30 to pushing it to four because there's a lot of connecting going on at that point around this time um, in the beginning, they're doing express, but in, when you're coming back, they're doing like pickups from like connecting, connecting, and that, can, and that can add up to time. So you need to be really be back from your trails at 3.30 to 4 o'clock to make it back to the east entrance or to the west entrance or wherever you came from. 
Um, unless your car is somewhere into the park where you left it, then, you know, it's a little bit easier. But you really need to be back from your hike from 3.30 or 4, 4 o'clock the latest. Um, anything pushing after that, you are, you are pressing for time to be stuck in the park. Just giving you a little heads up. Another thing I want to say about taking the shuttle system, the drivers are very focused on getting you from point A to point B in a safe manner. I, I have read somebody on the on the Facebook that they were kind of scared to take the shuttle because they were scared taking, you know, driving on going to the Sun Road. I will say this, the drivers, they have already seen the ooze eyes on going to the Sun Road. We, you know, I think we're more prone to get into an accident because we are all like, oh my God, look at this, look at that, look at over there. So I will say this, the drivers, they're very focused on getting you from point A to point B when they're driving on going to the Sun Road. And you should feel a lot more safer with them than if you were driving it yourself. Because if you're one of those people that are afraid to, you know, do cuts and corners close to the, close to the wall, then you know what? Taking the shuttle will be your best option. Oh, I will say this, um, try not to park on the side of the road that's not designated for you to park on the side of the road. A lot of people are getting tickets out here. And I will say this, they are like a lot of, they were giving out plenty of tickets on the Logan Pass. People are just parking on the other side and they're not supposed to park there. So there's been, every car had like a ticket right on that thing where when I was going, up from the shuttle to, to Logan Pass. So be very careful where you park and uh, on, on going to the Sun Road because you will get a ticket. And lucky there's no tow trucks out here. They, they'll probably tow that too. But you will get a ticket if you do park on the wrong side where you're not designated to park at. So just be very careful about that because you don't want to walk home with a ticket from coming from your vacation. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep subscribing to Coast Guy Adventures and also follow me on Facebook and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, subscribe and I will see you guys later.